Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA ended footies with a bang, and not necessarily because of such amazing cards being put into packs or anything along those lines. Really, there's an SBC right now that is changing the game. It's really taking over everything because of how unexpected it was but in a good way. We're going to talk about that today, cover all the content that was dropped on Footies Friday, and of course, look forward to today on Saturday. What about cover star icons? Did EA forget about those? Are we going to have one today? We're going to talk about that more in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new. Let's go over yesterday's content, starting with the objectives, guys, because we did have two. We had Leroy Sané and the end of an era, Kevin Prince Boateng. EA continuing with the Frimpong and the Lacroix, the Bundesliga. This league a push kind of on this game right now. Both five star, four star for Sane and Boateng. One thing I'll point your attention to right away as well is the XP is doubled. Instead of 400 XP inside of Sane, 800, and instead of 300, 600 inside of Boateng. So if you're on that chase for level 40, level 41, bit of extra XP inside of here. I have no problem with any of these cards. They're not too terrible to get done. The one thing I want to note is end of an era card designs and end of an era cards here with Boateng are back once again. It's been a while since we've had one. Are we going to see more end of an era here at the very end of FIFA 23? Is that bringing back the chance of a Zlatan? Maybe that's just something fabricated in my mind because we've wanted a Zlatan Ibrahimovic end of an era for so long and we never got it. But this gives me just a little bit of glimmer of hope for that card to potentially drop. So we'll see if that happens or not. Probably not. But nice card for Kevin Prince Boateng, FIFA legend. And I will note, these objectives guides didn't drop in the milestones tab. They're under the objectives tab. So you don't have until Friday to get these done. You only have until Division Rivals Rewards. And this whole section will be going away with, of course, another season or maybe the end of the season well whatever happens on thursday that will be done and those things will be going away because the season ends so just a quick note there now let's talk about the spcs because this is where ea surprised us yesterday first of all how can we not talk about the best spc on this game right now the 99 rated erling holland premium footies card Five star, five star, 99 pace, shooting, and dribbling. You've seen the stats on the card. Absolutely insane all the way through and through. He's no longer lengthy. That's the only thing that people are saying. Ah, Nate, this card might not be good. Not lengthy anymore. Holland's cards have been lengthy throughout the entire year. Finesse shot, outside foot, power header, bicycle kick traits. Insane, insane card. And guys, a great price. Are you kidding me? A million coins for this card as an SBC, just a little bit above a million. If this card was on the market, think about the other 99s and how difficult they are to pack. Compare this 99 Holland to the 99 Lewandowski that is on the market right now as a part of team number six. And I would say, well, definitely Holland is better uh, than Lewandowski is in game and also bigger name, I would argue, right? More people with Premier League links, just a lot more hype for Holland than Lewa. Nothing against Lewandowski, of course, or if you're a Barca fan. But this card's 1.5 mil, even Benzema 99s, 1.2 or 3 million coins. And this is only a 1 million coin SBC. I would have to imagine that if Holland was actually on the market, he would probably be about 2 million coins. That's why I love the price on this. And this is the SBC, guys, that's taking over FIFA right now. I mean, every single game that I've loaded into since content, which has been just a couple, but I've seen Holland in like every team. Yes, it's 14 squads to complete, which is not easy per se. It's going to take a bit of effort, but it's so craftable, of course, with the 85 times 10, 84 times 10. You guys know right now the price, it's kind of like a meme, right? Every SBC has a price on Footbin, but actually the price is free because the 84 and the 85 times 10. Absolutely love this one from EA, and I'm completely fine that we did not get a cover star icon because of getting this Erling Holland. And guys, I haven't watched the Inception review. I don't know how overpowered this card is in game. Um, from that standpoint, but I can just imagine how good he actually is. Like this, this card can't be bad. You know, some people may say clunky, whatever, but you know, what's not going to be clunky with a six foot five player, at least to a tiny bit, but with 91 agility, 92 balance, this is going to be an amazing end game card to try out. So a must do. I haven't done it yet because I was focusing on one of the other SPCs yesterday. But along with that, we had a Mudrick premium footies card released as well. Five star, five star, high, medium. Now, if you have a little bit less time to grind or you just um, don't want to get the Holland and put all the work in to get that, this is only four squads for a really 
good card as well. Maybe not as elite as Holland, but only 270,000 coins for that Mudra card um, with the, probably the insane dribbling he's going to have in game. I remember when his future stars was out, people were going crazy with it. He's got the center attack in mid and right wing position change in the card as well. So we can play on both right, left, and in a center attacking mid roll. Love the card, bit cheaper, and still free with crafting. Huge fan of Mudrik just as much as I am of Holland, but Holland is really the one that's taken over this game right now. I'm seeing him everywhere. It's honestly crazy, and I think a lot of people are doing him. Now, this is the other SBC that refreshed. We hoped that they would do this, and they did. 90 plus Todd Shapeshifter or Footies player pick. I did a bunch of these yesterday, and I finally packed a 99 on my account, guys. And it wasn't just Donnarumma, because Donnarumma is like Allison of last week. So easy to pack. But EA re-released this SBC. It's a 1 of 5 now instead of a 1 of 4, which increases, in my opinion, uh, the chance of getting one of those 99 rated footies cards, which a lot of us are chasing through this player pick. It also includes the Team 6 that was just dropped yesterday. So I know they made the SBC a little bit more expensive, but to be honest... We're still crafting our 78 rated golds and 79 rated golds in the club from opening 300 and 400 K packs or whatever upgrade packs you're opening. And then like the TOTS cards that you're getting from 84s and 85 times 10s. So we're getting it done at just the same rate, which is basically free. But I do think that those are a little bit higher weighted with better cards just because of the one of five player pick. Again, as I mentioned, I finally hit a 99 yesterday. It was Benzema. This card's insane. He's nuts. And then I packed Donnarumma like five or six times. Like I'm literally annoyed with this card now already. And he's only been in packs for a few hours. Um, and we packed him too many times. It's just like Allison from last week. But yeah, that's kind of the situation with the SBC section. As of yesterday, I like the 90 plus. I like the, the SBCs that were put out. It's just, again, great crafting continues. And uh, of course, with new cards in packs, it gives us a new chase. Let's talk about this footies team six and the cards that they dropped. Of course, not one, but two 99 rated cards. Lewandowski, as we mentioned, potentially getting one yesterday. We called it, guys. He actually did get one. And right now he's about 1.6, 1.7 mil. He fluctuates a lot. These cards are very rare. I would say that this team's like a six out of 10. I don't know. I'll show you the team here right now. This is EA's graphic from yesterday. There are some cards in here that are really nice, right? I mean, Grealish is good. Dybala looks insane. I haven't tried out Lewandowski, but he looks insane as well. Donnarumma, even for a keeper, looks really good with the PSG links. And then the heroes as well, right? Marquisio, Abedi, Cordoba, all look insane. Even Smolderek and Donovan, for how cheap they are, look really, really nice as well. And that's my biggest thing that I've noticed with this footies team. Just like last week with team number um, five of footies, those cards got really cheap really quick and a lot of these cards are cheap as well i mean you've got only a couple cards that are over a million coins right is it just Lewandowski who's over a mil dibala was at one point marquisio has been close uh but those guys are all down in price now pretty cheap promo team to be completely honest and that's definitely because of the 84 and the 85 times 10 grind but i think also this promo team doesn't just like wow me like some of the other ones did um just being completely honest but there are of course some nice cards that are inside of this and guys the one worry that i have with this promo team is today when the prices drop off because promo teams always drop off between saturday morning saturday night and especially into sunday on the weekends on um, fifa on the market some of these guys are already hitting their minimum prices like remember last week with okocha and robbie keen if you pack in a Betty Pele right now, you can't even sell it. 500k minimum price. Dybala, his minimum price is 600k. He's now up 100,000 coins. But if I had this card tradable, I would be selling it because he was at his minimum price for a little bit yesterday before going back up to 700k where he is now. I would 100% believe he's going to go below a 700k and get back down to his minimum price. So with some of these guys like the Dybala, uh, I think Marquisio maybe even was... Okay, Marquisio's is 500k. That's really, really low. Cordoba, I think, had a 300k minimum, um, and he was down there at one point. A lot of these guys are not going to be selling on the market later on today. That's just the way that I feel about it, uh, based off of how their prices look and how they're moving. So be very, very careful with those, because those minimum price ranges, once again, on some of these footies cards, have just been set too high by EA. So not a ton to talk about there with the cards and packs, but it's at least nice to have some new cards to grind. We're packing them, of course, from the 84, 85 times 10s and all the player picks and stuff and grinding and stuff. 
So this is nice to have new cards, but they don't just wow me like some of the other footies have. Now, I want to also talk about some things that didn't happen yesterday. First of all, we didn't get any cover star icons. Like we mentioned, Casillas and Mateus are the two big names that we're still looking to see cover star icon SBCs for. Now, we know Mateus is on Sunday. That just leaves us with Casillas. Where is that card? When is he going to drop? We do not know. Maybe it's today. Maybe it's not. Evident, obviously, he wasn't in objectives like we potentially thought he could be as well, right? We have Sané and Boateng there. So that is the biggest question mark. Where are the cover stars that we are getting the last couple? And of course, where's the daily bronze and silver upgrade? They left the daily gold upgrade still here under the um, upgrades tab. It's out for another six days. But a lot of us are like, wait, where's the bronze and silver that we were needing to get those bronze and silver cards to then do the daily gold upgrade, right? That craft is kind of gone right now, and it's kind of gone missing in a sense. Now, you can still do the, still do the craft. You just have to do ultimate bronze and silver upgrades to get those cards, um, or at least the ultimate bronze upgrade, and then fill it in with a few silvers to do the daily gold. It's just not as easy as the daily bronze and silver upgrades were. So that's a bit of a disappointing part. And then if you guys are playing Weekend League, Weekend League didn't start until the actual content drop yesterday, which was very weird. I don't know why EA did that. It's not like the rewards changed or anything that was unannounced. They didn't say anything about it as far as I'm concerned. So I don't know what the deal with that is, but the Weekend League looks to be ending um, in its normal 48 hour like time frame. I, I mean, I'm in qualifiers right now. So yeah, it says champs finals right here. It ends in two days, four hours. So that like ends at its normal time, but it started at a weird time. I don't know. So that was a weird one from yesterday as well. But then definitely the daily bronze and silver not coming back were a bit of a disappointment. Now, really quickly, let's talk about the fodder market a bit because when this Erling Holland SBC first came out, he was a million coins flat and he is up a little bit. The fodder part of the market that is moving is kind of the lower tier. Um, I'm looking at like 81s, 82s, and 83s. 83s were over 2,000 coins or still are almost 2,000 coins right now. Some of them a little bit lower. It's not like they had crazy spikes yesterday, but there were definitely some movements on a few of these cards. And I think that's just because, I mean, 84 plus are all getting packed from the 84 and the 85 times 10. So people don't have to go buy those, but they some sometimes have to go buy 81s, 82s, 83s to finish off some squads. And uh, I think that's where you're seeing the market move a little bit. And then maybe a little bit on the top tier as well, where you have some 95s, 96s, 97s, maybe selling for a little bit as well because you got that really high tier demand for the 91 and 92 rated squads inside of the Holland SBC. I will say this. I really don't look at this as an opportunity to invest right now. I know that it's the late game and not of us, not a lot of us are thinking about investing as well. The one thing I want to tell you though, and kind of just put in your mind is best of, um, and maybe this fruities promo in general ending at the end of this week, if we're still going to have a little bit of preseason content, which would be the next promo we assume to be coming out, would that maybe not include a best of, and maybe actually cause some fodder prices to go up? Maybe some team of the season cards actually end up going up in price later on. I mean, right now, team of the seasons are still 11,000 coins, but as you can tell, there were pages of these at 11,000 coins before, and no longer are they there. They're now just kind of kind of sitting on the market at 11k but it's not like you have pages and pages at minimum price so there could be a time and place where those cards go up a little bit again before the game is completely over but personally i'm not investing that much i just think if you need a little bit of fodder sure go out and buy it get it done or of course some people right now are just if you have coins opening the store packs to like refresh and restock your club and hopefully we see some more of those today as well now maybe some of you guys that were looking at team five of footies uh, Marcus Rashford, Ginola, those guys had big drop-offs in price yesterday because of the new cards that came out, the craft, and specifically the Holland SBC. Now, I think Rashford's back up to about 600,000 coins, but, um, you know, just be careful with these cards. I mean, if you're worried about coins at this stage of the game, I would tell you that it's okay to time the market and to try to time it a little bit, but also have fun, right? That's the number one thing I want to stress to you guys is whatever brings you the most fun right now in this game just do it. Open the packs. That's a fun grind. Play the games. Enjoy the cards that we have right now in this game because the stats are crazy and it's they're so easy to get. They're cheap. Everything on the market is relatively cheap. 
it's just an amazing time to be on the menus. Enjoy that however you enjoy it, right? For me, it's trying to pack the 99s, which we finally did yesterday. I'll be having a video up on the second channel today of a lot of these player picks that we opened, uh, my reaction to that, the other cards that we packed, opening up a bunch of other packs for Footy's Team 6 that dropped yesterday. So make sure you subscribe to the second channel there and check that out later today. But just have fun. Just do you right now on the menus, honestly, whatever it may be. Um, and uh, don't care about the market too crazy much. That's why we haven't been talking about it a ton recently. But let's talk about content a little bit today too because we care a little bit about that with new cards that are incoming. We talked about the Casillas, right? That's one of the leaks that is still outstanding. Cover star icon Casillas. And Saturdays are always player SPC days. Could that actually mean that Casillas maybe is today? Our minds have to change a little bit now because Casillas is not an objective like we thought that he might be. We know that Mateus is going to be an SBC that comes out on Sunday, tomorrow. So today we should probably either get a footies hero SBC, which they've used a lot of heroes so far in footies via SBCs and via packs. So I'm not sure where they're going to go with that. Or they'll drop us the Casillas today, guys. And it might be a pretty quiet day other than Casillas. But that is one expectation I would have today is a player SBC. And maybe another sort of upgrade pack, right? The 83 times 100 is still a mystery. It's in the code. I think the 82 times 100 a couple weeks ago dropped on a Saturday. I could be mistaken around that. It might have also dropped on a Sunday or Monday. But, you know, that's another potential SBC that could be coming that I would at least want to try at this stage of the game. So watch out for stuff like that. And then, of course, for you guys that like to degen the store packs at this stage of the game, the 400k pack should be back today. Fingers crossed. Hopefully, Saturdays have been the days when they've been dropping that pack before. Um, and it is not out right now. This is not the 400k pack you want to open. The super ultimate pack with 250 rare gold players. That is the one you want to open. I want to also draw your attention to uh, a 50k pack that I actually opened. It's the 50k pack that guarantees you players from batch 3. It's literally a no-brainer. You got to try to open it. If you have 50,000 coins and you at least want to give it a shot because it gives you five players all rated 90 or above, which technically that value is for special cards, uh, about a 10, 11,000 coins per card, all 90 plus. So it's kind of turning coins into untradeables, which I don't love. But if you got 50K or over 50K and you want to go for it, it's not a bad gamble whatsoever. I did it yesterday, just kind of out of nowhere. And all of a sudden, 98 Garincha is in the back of that pack. So you might hit something big like this. You might hit, um, you know, I don't even know, a team of the season, Mbappe or Messi. Like those cards are in that as well because it's batch three only. It does not include footies. That's just something to watch out for today in, in terms of what is going on in the store. So it might not be a busy day today on Saturday, but there is a lot going on. Good luck if you're grinding the weekend league, if you're playing and enjoying with this Erling Holland card or maybe the Mudrick or just enjoying the pack grind or the new Taram, whatever it is in this game, there's a lot to enjoy. So enjoy it to whatever you want to enjoy at this stage of the game. Go touch grass as well if you want to. It's not a bad idea to take a bit of a break, take a bit of a reset. I'm going to be taking some time off soon to get away from just the grind of the game just to reset and get away before we get you guys ready for the upcoming EAFC 24 season that is fast approaching. But that's the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Accountant. See you guys in the second channel today. Peace.